Hey everybody, we're in Cuenca, Ecuador, and as part of the purpose that Julie and I have on our travels is to break out the cost of living and show you what it's like to live in different parts of the world. And today we're gonna go visit our friend Mark. We're gonna see his location where he lives, and it's unbelievable what he pays for such a beautiful place. And we're gonna talk to him about his budget. He's been here about three and a half, four years, so uh, we'll get some good insight. So. You'll be impressed. This is just a block from this beautiful river and beautiful park. Easy access. Just a 20 second walk out his door. This place, it looks like a pretty common street, but there's gorgeous places behind these gates and walls. Crime here is very low. So look at this beautiful Location behind this beautiful gate. So this is Mark's neighborhood. And we're gonna walk up to his door. Beautiful little compound. Look at the little beautiful dog. Yeah, we like you too. Yes. So. Over here we have uh, Mark. Mark, beautiful place. Love the guard dog. Beautiful front door. And of course you've already seen, or everybody's seen Mark before in previous videos. So, ready Mark? Ready. Mark, thanks for letting us in your house. Um, how much is your rent per month? 450. 450 dollars? And yeah. you've got a two bedroom here? It's a two bedroom with one in the back. They call it a maid's quarters. So you have a maid's quarters as well. And it's yeah. 450 so, a month. And I have three full bathrooms. And this is a full bath in here? Yes. This is it's too, too tight in there. Okay, so that's a full bath. Okay. And then we're coming over here to the atrium. This little sitting area. Right. And you've got a skylight in here, huh? That's natural light in. Yes. It's a beautiful Most, wall. Mostly flies, but last week there was a hummingbird up there. Wow. These are beautiful stone walls too. Yes. Does that fireplace work? No, it's fake, but okay. there's an electric uh, outlet in there and he said I can put a heater in there if I want. Super. And over here, it's cool. okay, so now we're coming on into the dining room. And kitchen. And kitchen. This looks like a pretty modern kitchen. It's small, but it's convenient. All I need is a convection oven. I really don't bake, but it would be nice to have one. Oh yeah, nice appliances. Very nice, this is nice, Mark. And this is your man cave over yeah, here, I is what you call it? so it wouldn't be so dark. <laughs> okay. I'll be using it tonight. There's some great concerts on tonight. <laughs> Super. What do you use as far as uh, TV for your inter entertainment? Um, I, I just, I have a, a fire stick. But it needs to be tweaked because there's, um, I can't get a lot of U.S. stations, which I really don't care about. I hate commercials. So I, I usually watch YouTube or uh, Netflix. Super. And then you've got the two bedrooms over here. Is the left one is the guest bedroom? Guest bedroom, right. It's a good size guest bedroom. It is. So if we come back to Ecuador in the future, we're crashing here. Is that right? That's right. Very nice. And then over in the next room is a, the master bedroom? Yes. This is spacious. I don't it know. is. Hopefully I capture the, uh, the amount of room on the camera. Actually both bedrooms have queen size beds. This is a very small master bath. Small master bath, okay. And look at the tub. The tub is Ecuadorian size. Ecuadorian people are not very tall. In fact, coming in with the archway, my landlord measured me before he even built it because I'm the tallest person here. <laughs> Okay, so out this back door is where your laundry is, your and patio and uh, the maid's, maid's quarter. quarter. Yeah. Oh. So this my is a patio. Okay, so we've got the laundry room area here for a patio. And, and then you've a, got a... I never use this, but this is another bath. It's got a bath sink and a shower. So you got another full bath out here right. for the it's maid's quarter? Yeah, I've never used it. Okay. 
and then the maid's quarters. Which I use for storage and junk right now. I need to clean it up more. But it's got a good size closet here. I mean, I've got two full size suitcases in there and a duffel suitcase. Oh, this is pretty incredible for $450 a month. And you said your utilities was, was included with this? Only the electric, which is the highest bill. Okay, and then so you have your my electric. Water, my water is like 20 to $25 every three months. And these, and these propane tanks are $3 each. And the guy delivers it, picks up the tank, puts a new one in there. And I have gauges on my... Uh, How long does a propane tank last you? Usually six weeks. Six weeks? So three yeah, bucks for six gas weeks? Dryer, yeah. Wow. Now, one of the great things about this location is that while it's away from El Centro, Julie and I just came from El Centro and walked here, which is the historic area. It took maybe about 20, 25 minute walk to get here from the historic center downtown. So it's fairly close to everything, but far enough away. Another thing about this uh, location, as well as most of Cuenca, you can basically get anywhere with a $2 taxi ride. So regardless of where you are, you can get somewhere for two bucks. So you really don't need a car here either, unless you really, really want one for some reason. Okay, so now we got Julie joining Mark over there on the other side of the table. And so we've been very impressed with Ecuador and the cost of living here. Absolutely. And, you know, Julie, are you going to say it's going to be hard for us to leave in the future? I will. Um, honestly, I honestly love it here. And it is such a, uh, a hard thing for me because I have a wanderlust for travel, but this climate is amazing, number one. Number two is um, just looking at Mark's place. My goodness, four hundred and fifty dollars, all utilities included. No, not all utilities, just the electric. Oh, I'm sorry. Which is the most expensive electric. one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well the um, water you said was how much? Mine, I can't believe how low it is because it's never been this low wherever I've lived. Uh, I pay about twenty to twenty-five dollars every three months. Every three months. So you're talking like seven bucks a month for water, and then you mentioned that your gas is three dollars for a, a six-week supply, basically. Right. And so that's even, just... even using my dryer, yeah. So that's just crazy. Um, His place reminds me so much of San Diego, in particular the East Lake area. Um, Where's the East Lake area? Out by Chula yeah, Vista. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. East, okay. East Chula Vista. And people that live there that see this video will say, wow, yes, you're correct. Uh, in particular, <laughs> I remember Rolling Hills Ranch. And... Uh, but this is just beautiful. And you couldn't even get a cardboard box in California oh for four hundred fifty dollars no. a month. Uh, he's even got a man cave for the men out there. This thing—you could do this as a theater room. And I, it is I opened just the curtains amazing. so you could see what it looked like. With oh, the well, light. Why we're talking about the man cave? Um, what, what are you drinking there? I'm drinking a German beer, which I bought at uh, Corral this afternoon. Corral is a uh, like a big department and grocery store. And it's only a ten-minute walk to the mall for me. Dollar sixty nine for the six pack. Wow, that's buck sixty nine a six pack. So that's going to break out to what? And it's uh, German beer. Twenty five cents, uh, thirty cents a beer. Correct. Wow, so that's a uh, that's a pretty good incentive for those that like beer to come to Ecuador. So um, let's talk about how long you've been here now. Three and a half years. Three and a half years, and you've got to know quite a few people here. Yes, which I who I haven't I haven't seen most of them for three months now because of the lockdown. Yeah. So now with the um, expatriates or the expats that you know of that live here, a lot of them are living here on their social security. Correct. Correct, um, and then others they have retirement, they have investment. Yeah, and um, oftentimes people will put money into Ecuadorian CDs here that allow them to stay here as, a, as an investor, and they get about a 9% return, and they can pull that 9% while they're living here as well. So um, do you have any idea what that investor um, visa costs now? 40000 40000 mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay. Um, for those that are here living on uh, Social Security, you know, it seems like a lot of people are in the fifteen hundred dollar uh, ballpark with Social Security. Would you say, looking at your place with four hundred fifty dollars a month and having a thousand dollars left over for everything else, that somebody could come down here and live in Ecuador and Cuenca, Ecuador, for fifteen hundred dollars a month in a comfort uh, with with yes. that? Yes, I mean I'm older, but I still go out to the bars, and that's where I see a lot of my friends. 
So if you were to go out and eat on a regular basis, which and... I do when everything's going, not I'm not on a well, semi regular basis. I like to cook at home too. Yeah, so if you went out a few times a week and you went out to the bar a couple times a week, um, had a social life and had your entertainment, go to parties, fifteen hundred a month would be able to swing a life sure. uh, life here. I could definitely see that. Yes. Just, just with the months we've been here um, and seeing groceries, uh, now that we are seeing restaurants, there are restaurants that are expensive. They are equivalent to the United States prices, uh, gourmet restaurants, but you can, we literally got lunch today for three of us for $7.50. That's right. Including Total? water. Yep. Good. <laughs> so, and I was perfectly satisfied. It was a wonderful mm -hmm. vegetarian burrito. Uh, my friend got a chicken burrito, and Warren got two empanadas. Yeah, that vegetarian, were vegetarian empanadas, yeah. Very good. And uh, we had a couple bottles of water. Yes. So, it, yeah, it was very, very affordable. Here's a look at the menu board of the place we went for lunch, and also a photo with our good friend Kay, who joined us. Um, so, Mark. This is a beautiful place and we you. appreciate you sharing it with us. If you're interested in coming here, make sure that uh, you, I mean moving here, make sure you come visit first because it's not for everybody. Correct. But most people come here and fall in love with it. The elevation definitely, I can see that yes. it could really be tough for people. Um, there's not a lot of insulation in most of the homes and uh, so you need to bundle up at times, but you know, you'll start the day off with some warm pajamas and then, I mean, look at what I'm wearing. <laughs> it's a, it, it layers. Every day is layers. Every day. Mm -hmm. And it truly feels like a spring day in San Diego, California. Uh, and this beautiful compound that you have here when you come into the gate, um, I guess that cuts out all the noise from the gas truck and all of the other uh, motorcycle noise that's legendary yes. here. And in many areas, there are roosters. There's motorcycles, there's car horns going off. Yes. In this area where I am here, very rare. Peaceful and quiet. If I wake up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom, there's a way off in the distance, there's a rooster, but you go back to sleep and you don't even hear it. It's a beautiful, beautiful country. We cannot wait to explore more of it, but Cuenca is definitely a gorgeous place, and we're so happy we have we have come here. And we're yep. hoping for Vilcabamba next month. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to have a beer here with my buddy Mark. Salute. I hope you enjoyed our visit with Mark today. If you haven't already joined us, please subscribe so you can be informed about our next videos. Julie and I will be traveling the world and evaluating the cost of living in different locations and speaking to people like Mark to see what their typical budget looks like. As you can see, Ecuador is an affordable location. $1,500 a month would easily be able to afford somebody a comfortable lifestyle. Maybe add a couple hundred more if you're bringing a couple, if you're coming here as a couple. You can come to Ecuador for 90 days as a U.S. citizen and oftentimes you can extend for an extra 90 days with a tourist extension. It's easy to get residency here, so this is a place to consider. Again, please subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed today's video. We hope it was enlightening, and we look forward to trying to give you more information next time. Take care.